I'm going to write a program where I make the mouse move around on the screen. Mouse move. So I'm going to play around. Uh, maybe let the mouse move to a specific position on the screen. Okay, components I'm going to use is a timer. Every time the timer goes off, I want it to trigger the mouse movement. I'm going to use two labels just to display the X and the Y coordinates for me. Okay, this one will be the X. This one will display the Y. So I'm going to say every time the timer goes off in label one dot caption, I want to display the mouse dot cursor position. cursor position dot and I want to display the X coordinate into a label one that's this table over here and in label two I want to display the mouse cursor position but this time I want it to display the Y coordinate it's an integer your caption is a string so I will need to convert this integer to a string same with this one integer to a string okay so now we have the x and the y coordinates and we can keep track of what the values are of x and y okay so it's actually working so a little bit of a delay so let's go to the timer let's make the interval a little bit smaller to 10 move okay, so I'm thinking about letting the mouse cursor move down to the start button okay so the value for x plus minus 25 and 750 for the y coordinate okay so I'm gonna declare first variable t point And I'm going to put my position of my cursor in that variable P. Cursor position. So I'm going to assign this to the variable P. And I'm going to say set cursor position p dot x comma p dot y and the first one I'm going to move is the X coordinates I'm gonna you can use different methods this is actually quite a simple one okay, for I is equals to just 
it's the start it's use the start position cursor position dot x so start with this value and go down to 25 okay let me just quickly check whether it's down to or vice versa okay so the x coordinate is going to be plus minus in the 300s a lot higher than 25 so we need it to go down to about there 25 and then it will need to go down okay, so x will be going from a big number to a lower one so it's down to so yeah down to down to 25 begin and end set cursor position cursor p dot y need another closing bracket set cursor position p uh, open bracket go and let's move this coding in there so that we can keep track of that okay so hopefully my mouse will move from the right to the left from a high x coordinate to a low x coordinate okay so it's not running is high to low let's just check here uh, okay here's the mistake we need to decrease this value of y every time this for loop executes we need to decrease the value of x otherwise it's gonna just stay the same the whole time okay there it starts moving all the way until it reaches the value of 24 remember with a for loop you will notice that it's fighting the whole time here with me because the timer goes off and x as soon as x is bigger than 25 it will go back into the loop and run all the way back to 24. okay so i need to fight my cursor back okay so uh yeah goes to 25 then the for loop jumps out and it's actually 24 because 24 when it's 24 it doesn't go into the for loop again and then it will skip to the next line and then it will be 24 so i'm going to basically do the same thing or the similar thing with the y coordinates okay so let's set i equals to the mouse cursor position mouse dot cursor position and the sum of y okay so we're going to start with the in the position y and we need to go if i remember correctly it was 700 plus minus 750 is the value of y when it's at the bottom okay begin end okay set cursor position p dot x Um, p dot y but this time i need to increase the value of p by one every time oh, increase the value of y by one every time Let me just comment this out just to make sure what is the value of y Okay, y, y is basically 73 plus minus 
when we start off so it must increase until it reaches the value of 75 here plus one and I'm also gonna display it in the caption so if we can keep track oh yeah we already have that yeah okay so I'm gonna also display it in my label to the y coordinates so if I leave my mouse alone should move all the way down to 75 and then it will move to the left position okay so if you really want to make a simulation here you can even encode it so that it clicks uh, Delphi makes a click for you and after that click you can move it to another location and make another click or a double click and then simulate a, a user moving his mouse the whole time okay, it's quite difficult to fight the mouse back to the closing button okay, okay but that's how you're gonna make a mouse move and yeah you can move it to any position that you want you can use different algorithms uh, to do different simulations mine are not that smooth of movement but you can also make it move a little bit slower but i think this is too slow it's hardly moving okay so i think the Smooth values about 10 plus minus, but you can play around with it, explore 